In this video, we will talk about creating stars using the star tool. So I'm going to grab it from the tools panel right here. And as you can see, it doesn't have a default shortcut. And let me just quickly tell you how this tool works. Of course, just as uh, with, uh, with those uh, other tools, uh, if you want to create the star, just click and drag to create one just like so. And if I hold down the shift key, I'm going to constrain the proportions just like that. But of course, that would be quite boring if we were if we had only this uh, well this star at our disposal. What we can do is while creating the star, we can not only hold down the shift key, but we can also um, hold down the control key to change the look and feel of the star just like so. So we can make it more like a star on the sky or like a star and on a flag just like so. So I'm holding down the control key to manipulate the rays just like that. And since we are talking about the rays, if you want to add them, just press an, uh, the up arrow key just like so. And we can keep pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing until we have kind of like a, uh, like a sun right here. And if I press and hold down the, um, the down arrow key, I'm subtracting the rays to have like a, well, well a sun that has, <laughs> that has less rays, for lack of a better term, the sun that has less rays, just like so. And uh, of course, I can still press and hold down the control key to manipulate the rays, just like so. So I can, uh, well, essentially change the look and feel of my sun uh, as I am creating it, because I'm still holding down my mouse button. I'm not letting go. So I'm th these all, um, well, effects or things that I'm doing to, uh, to my sun are all live. I still haven't created the sun. I just get this preview um, and I can still, well, if I change my mind, I can, of course, add or subtract rays, just like so. And again, if you need more control, you can also click on the, on the artboard. And in here, we got more options. We got radius 1 and radius 2, and we got the points, of course. So let's see what uh, these options will do. Let's, uh, let's first uh, explore the radius 1, what the radius 1 option will do. So uh, the best way to explore, to kind of like test things, how they work, is to make them really contrasty with the, with an opposite option. So I'm gonna go with maybe like uh, I don't know, 200 and the radius one. I'm gonna go with 25 and points uh, maybe 15. And I'm gonna click OK. And as you can see, this is this is uh, the star that we get. Well, the star or the sun. And I'm gonna click again. And I'm gonna now turn these values around. So I'm gonna go with 25 for the radius one and 200 for the radius two. And this is what we are. This is what we are going to get. Not that much of a difference, but I think that these points are a bit narrower. They look a bit. They look a bit different. And of course, if we just change the value of the points to maybe like twenty-five, you can see that we got more rays right now. So our uh, let me just maybe get rid of these guys and this one and this one as well. As you can see, our sun is a bit more elaborate. It actually looks pretty nice, I gotta say. Um, so we can get uh, quite different results just by playing around with uh, these two, well, these three uh, actually uh, values. So a thing to remember here when creating the star, all, we, all you have to do is to, to manipulate the, the overall look and feel of the, of the star is to, when creating your star, just press the up arrow key to add a race or down arrow key to, uh, to subtract the race and then press and hold down the control key to change the look and feel of the sun. As you can see, right now I am not really able to create, uh, well, recreate the effect that we uh, re that we got when using the options uh, just, just a second ago. However, we can manipulate our mouse to maybe like make it look something like that. And let's now make it just a bit bigger. Well, almost, it <laughs> almost look uh, as it should. So. This is how you can create stars. This is how you can create suns inside uh, inside Illustrator. And actually, one uh, I'm going to need uh, one uh, one star, one sun. Uh, let me just make it just a bit different. Maybe something like that. Because uh, I'm, I'm creating the sun because in the next video, I want to show you how to use the flare tool. And the flare tool is quite a, well, not that commonly used tool and it's best used if you want to create some kind of like a, like a light effect inside Illustrator. And I think that it's going to be visible best um, with the, uh, well, in conjunction with a, with this uh, like, kind of like a sun, uh, sun shape. So if you want to learn how to create, uh, how to use the flare tool, well, we, you can learn it in the next video. So stay tuned.